Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to That Awkward Show. My name is LJ Galvin, and today we're not going to be reviewing something. Instead, I want to talk about first impressions and highlights of the Apple keynote that just happened this week. Because why watch a two-hour keynote when I can just give you the highlights right here? For those who don't speak Mac, the Apple keynote, better known as the Apple special event, is a conference held by Apple in which they reveal their new products. This can be gadgets or software, maybe the new MacBook or the new iPhone. But it's basically a conference in which they tell you that the Apple gadget that you now currently own has become totally obsolete. You can even feel their pain. I have no purpose in life anymore. <laughs> This year's Apple special event was held at the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium in San Francisco. It is known to be a multi-purpose venue. It serves as a concert hall, a convention center, and now, most importantly, it's a Pokestop. So this Apple Keynote's hero is definitely the iPhone 7, which is why I've prepared seven highlights for you. Highlight number one. The event started out in a really cool way. It was a carpool karaoke segment with James Corden. In this one, James Corden was giving Tim Cook, the Apple CEO, a ride to the event. But before arriving to the event, they were chatting and they were hanging out. And of course, they started singing One Republic. And at some point, they even picked up Pharrell to give fashion advice. Just some silly glasses thing. And they were all singing Sweet Home Alabama. Highlight 2. So as you can tell by my shirt, I'm a really big fan of video games. And I'm an even bigger fan of Nintendo video games which is I was super excited to see legendary game designer Shigeru Miyamoto introducing the new Mario app for the iPhone. This is the first Mario game to come out for a mobile device. Mr. Miyamoto was explaining what the game was about, and it's basically about Mario running around very familiar levels, and you have to tap the screen in order to make Mario jump or to activate special effects that will help him reach the goal. It seems like the app is going to be multiplayer as well and you'll be able to compete with other people, so that's pretty exciting. If you go on the app store right now, you will see the coming soon page for the Mario app. The app itself is called Super Mario Run. And apparently the app is only going to be available in the app store, which means it's only going to be available for iPhones, at least in the beginning. But who knows, maybe they'll bring it to other devices later on. Highlight number three. Another good highlight of the keynote is when Jeff Williams, the COO of Apple, announced the new Apple Watch. They're calling it the Apple Watch Series 2, and besides it being faster and having a longer battery life, it now has a really great feature. It's waterproof! This is something that should have come out with the first edition of the Apple Watch. I mean, come on, every watch is waterproof by now. Like, there's even watches in the cereal boxes that are waterproof. They also spoke about the other versions of the Apple Watches that are going to be available. Like for example the ceramic one, that's supposed to be a stronger, better casing for the Apple Watch. And last but not least, they also spoke about the Apple Watch Series 2 Nike Plus Edition. And this one is geared more towards the fitness conscience in athletes. Now that's one edition that I will probably not be getting. <laughs> Highlight 4. Pokemon Go is now coming to the Apple Watch. A little while ago, when Pokemon Go came out, There were rumors that it was not going to come out for the Apple Watch since they were developing the Pokemon Go Plus, which supposedly comes out in September. But Niantic pulled the Niantic and surprised us all by announcing that it in fact is actually coming to the Apple Watch. And they even gave us a little preview of what to expect. Like for example, if you're hatching an egg, it will tell you how much farther you have to walk before it hatches. Another great feature is that if you're nearby a Pokestop, your Apple Watch will notify you. And not only that, but you'll be able to gather all the items through the screen on your Apple Watch. And best of all, it'll alert you when a Pokemon is nearby, without having to look at the screen on your phone. This means you can keep playing without having your phone out all the time, and looking like a total nerd. Highlight number 5. Finally, they announced the iPhone 7. And not only does it come with great software, but it also comes with redesigned and totally new hardware. For example, the Retina display was redesigned and now it has like an amazing color quality and also like the clarity and precision of the images is so great. Which means you'll be able to watch that awkward show in great resolution no matter where you are. Hmm, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. The front facing camera is now 7 megapixels and it comes with auto image stabilization. This means you're gonna get so much better selfies from Snapchat or Instagram. But it also means that those unwanted dick pics that you get are going to be in greater detail. Another new feature for the iPhone 7 is that they completely redesigned the home button, 
which is not a button anymore, but rather a pressure screen like the Apple Watches have. And the best feature of them all, it is now waterproof and dustproof. Another update that they did for the iPhone 7 is that it won't have the headphone jack in which you plug in your headphones. Instead, you'll be plugging in the new headphones through the lightning connector. This apparently improves the quality and control of the music. It seemed a little weird, but before I could start complaining, they mentioned that besides the new headphones that are going to be included in the iPhone 7, they'll also include the adapter to connect regular headphones into the lightning connector. And they also spoke in very great detail about the iPhone 7 Plus photographic capabilities. Apparently, the iPhone 7 Plus is going to have two 12 megapixel wide angle and telephoto cameras. But let's face it, we don't need that immense quality for the type of picture that we're taking. I don't need to see in great detail that tortilla chip of my breakfast nachos of the picture I took on Sunday brunch. Now I want brunch. Highlight 6. At the keynote, they also revealed their new wireless headphones that they are calling AirPods. The name is a little bit confusing because a name like AirBuds would have made more sense, but I get why people would start thinking about those dogs that play basketball. So these new wireless headphones, apparently you just pop them in your ear and you can listen to music or talk to someone for up to 4 hours, but they come in this case that also functions as a charger and apparently it holds up to 20 hours. So the new AirPods are $159, but they're so small that I'm pretty sure people are going to start losing them and have to order more. And for the final highlight, a performance by Sia. So are you guys excited for the new iPhone 7 or maybe for the new Apple Watch Series 2? I know I'm pretty excited about some of the features and I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding more and more stuff so I'll definitely keep an eye out. But also let me know what you think. Leave in the comments down below if you liked the new iPhone or if you didn't like it. And as always, feedback for the videos is greatly appreciated. So if you have a comment or if you have a question, if you have some suggestions for the next videos, leave them down below on the comments. If you're also interested to see in what shenanigans I get into in my everyday life, don't forget to add me on social media. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. See you next time.